Today's video, I will be getting behind one of the world's fastest endurance racing cars. Racing car itself is called a hypercar. The hypercar that I will be driving will be a Cadillac. I think it will be the blue one today as I think that's the best looking one in my opinion out of the three. I will be going over to Monza over in Italy in the Le Mans Ultimate game. I'm going to test out and see what the car is like, see if I'm any good at the game and we'll head into a quick race and we'll see how we go against AI and all the other cars that are on the grid. Alrighty, we're here at Monza in my blue hypercar Cadillac. We're just about to hit the track now as we'll just come at the pits with that orange guy just telling us where to go politely. This is an endurance game, so there will be GT3 slash GTE cars, other hypercars and LMP2 cars. So there's three categories on track. We are got to start qualifying now. There's 20 minutes of qualifying. As you can see in front of us, we've got a Porsche 911.2 and a Peugeot hypercar just in front of it. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I'm just gonna give these guys a little bit of space. Two seconds later. As I just drive off course and spin it. There we go. Great way to start. Got to start again, go back to garage and drive back out. What a start to the video that was. If these guys in this video do see there's a little bit of stuttering in the game it is due to the Le Mans ultimate game in early access a lot of other people I've seen are reporting the same issues I do have a very high-end PC ish I've got a 3070 graphics card so it can hold this game fairly well while recording and my frame rates I have checked they are very good they're about a hundred frames or so so there's no problems on my end these hypercars are fairly similar to Formula 1 cars, they're just a bit heavier and a tiny bit slower as well, with only 7 gears instead of 8. I'm going to take my first lap fairly sensibly, just going to see where some uh, key areas are for some braking markers and all that, see if there's any shadows and that, but we've just crossed the start finish line there, here on the pit straight of Monza, we're coming to the first chicane, as there was our first stutter. About 150 meters out, I'm going to go for for the first lap, just to ease my way into the game. I've absolutely clattered that inside curb a bit too hard there. Probably should take that a little bit wider next time. Coming into these next two right-handers, you have to keep it nice and tight. You have to hit the apex perfectly to get a good run out of these corners. Exactly like this, you have to hit it like that, and then you can just plant the throttle down. And I'm on my way. My brakes and tyres are almost up to temperature, so that's good. No overheating or no too cold of brakes, because the last thing we want to do is lock a brake up. Going into one of these fast corners as we click into fourth. Come up to the start finish line for our first lap around Monza, and it is a 36.3, not too bad. Nice swooping long corner here. Just keep it as close to the exit I need to just to maximize the time as possible. Near the 100 meter board, come down into second. There's a bit of sand dust or gravel dust, whatever it is. It's probably from that Porsche up ahead, that bright pink Porsche, as I've just missed my gear there. Of course I do. Oh, I've run it wide. Save it, save it. Oh, I was lucky to save that there. Oh, actually I might send him. Oh, I was lucky I didn't hit the Aston Martin there. I'll tell you what, do not do that in real life. That would be one expensive bill for your team to pay for. Catching up to another Porsche here. Brake there. Don't overcook it, and I've overcooked it. Of course I do. I tell you, this, these three corners here are so satisfying when you get them right. Exactly like that. If I did that on a push lap, I'd be so happy. Feels really, really nice when you hook those three corners up perfectly. Braked a little bit later there. That felt a hell of a lot better. Flick it through here. Get out of here as quickly as possible. That's better, flick it through. Oh my God, there's a car off. They've spun. Move out the way. What did I just witness? Are you kidding me? That has just absolutely smashed my car to bits. I don't know what my front bumper looks like. I don't think there's actually too much damage, I don't think. 
There might be, but I can't feel it. Be interested to see how fast we are down the straight. I'll have a look at the delta. The delta's not moving, so we might be all right. That is very, very lucky. And I've missed my braking mark. Stuff this, I tell you. That is a disappointing qualifying session. I'm not even going to bother going for another lap. I'm just going to head to the race and see what happens. So it looks like I came sixth in class out of the, all of the hypercars in qualifying. That wasn't even my good lap, I tell you. The AI is on 100% as well. We did come sixth without a good push lap due to the horrific qualifying. Anything that went wrong did happen in that qualifying and I was right front and center of it due to my poor driving and other people crashing in front of me. The race says it's four hours and 26 minutes. I don't know why it's that long. I'm only gonna race 26 minutes of it. So when it gets to four hours, I'm gonna stop it there. Formation lap here. Looks like the cars are starting up here. Yep, I can see the Ferrari moving and the Porsche. This is gonna be a long formation lap. Let's just warm these tires up and the brakes as well. Looks like they're forming up now. I have to go in front of the Porsche. I was about to go in front of the Ferrari there for a second because it had the red lines onto it, then it switched. But anyway, I can see the safety car now. Looks like there's a Toyota, a Peugeot, a Porsche in front of me, a Ferrari alongside me, and I'm not too sure what's in front of that Porsche. Maybe it's another Ferrari, I'm not too sure. This game is probably the most funnest game I've ever done when it comes to racing, of course. I can't compare this to like an NBA or a soccer game. It's completely different. This is more of a real life simulator type feeling. I'm gonna put it into the speed limiter so I don't get penalized. The safety car has taken off into the pit lane. We're about to start here. We're looking for the stewards to say it's going to go green. I have to remember to take it off of pit limiter. Here we go. Here we go. Looking. There we go, racing time. 26 minutes of Monza. And I'm missing my gears here, not good start. Now I'm surrounded. No, you don't. No, you don't. Mm. I have to climb that curb there. There's too many cars in front of me. There's yellow. Where's the yellow coming from? Hopefully it's behind. Oh, you idiot. He's just cut me off. Let's get this Peugeot in front. It's really weird seeing a hypercar without a wing. I think it's the only hypercar as well to have no wing at the back. Let's not worry about what's in front of us. Let's just worry about what I'm doing. As what the hell is he doing? You see him take that corner? He like mowed the lawn while going through it as well. Tell you what, this is some risky driving. I'm not going for the dive there. That's an accident waiting to happen. Why are you going so slow, mate? Stop tapping the brakes. Maybe go for a dive bomb into this corner. Good. That's one spot gone. All those right in my bumper. But we do take it. It's a good overtake. It's a great spot to overtake as well. You have to brake heavy, then it's a fast corner as well. It's a good combination. 150 meter board. Take it sensibly, don't run into the back of the car. Far out. Trying to get that toe, trying to get that draft. Oh, he tried to close the door on me, you little sod. There was no way I was gonna overtake him, but I was just gonna go down the inside just to say, hey, I'm here. Oh, I've hit the grass, I've hit the grass. Oh, I've saved it. No. Now I've lost time. Let's keep the Peugeot behind. That's better. No, 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 Oh, you freaking idiot. Oh. Start of the race up again. We're about to go green for the second time because I've absolutely spun out onto the third to last corner of this Monza track. Not good for me, but anyway, let's wait for the stewards to turn green here. 26 more minutes of racing to come as it's green now. Let's go. Better start this time. I tell you, practice does make perfect. As that Porsche is gonna come out there. I'm gonna go past him. 
Oh, oh, how is that? Oh my God. I've just overtaken six cars then. I've just outbroke all of them. They're on 100% AI as well and I've just taken off. What a start that was. Oh, as the Ferrari went a bit loose in the background there. Coming on to lap two. Good first lap here. Nice and clean as well. Six overtakes in one lap. That's how you do it, going into the first corner. Oh, I've run out a bit hot there. Back out, back out, back out, back out. Oh, I've run so wide there. That's got to let the Ferrari claw the gap in a little bit more. I can still see the Ferrari in my mirrors, so it's actually not that far behind. 2.3 seconds. Seems like it's a little bit of a gap in motorsport, but I tell you, one mistake, and that Ferrari could be taking the lead from me. But hopefully that won't be happening. Ooh, I felt the car slide there. Probably hit that rumble curb way, way too hard. Just made the car feel a little bit too unstable. One second up on my quickest lap time of this race so far. It is going to be a 35.3. I think that is as quick as a qualifying time in real life last year. Oh no, I've missed my breaking mark. Nah. That's going to put the Ferrari very close. No, I'm going through the boards, I don't care. I didn't even look at my braking mark there. I just went into that corner so blindly. It did cost me about half a second there. Probably should have cost me more, to be honest. Oh, didn't hit the apex right there. Still got it through, though. Had to lift off the accelerator. I tell you, these Porsches up ahead, they have the best sounding cars of this era. Him, hit the brake board there. That's good, good overtake, nice and clean. He has just ran wide. Jeez, was he doing the lawn mowing for the uh, Monza landscapers there? Jesus, mate. Oh, I've slid, slid, I hit the brakes too hard. I was worrying about what that red Porsche was doing. Oh, there's a battle going on here. Four of them all together. And I'm just absolutely zooming past. Move. Yes. Oh, bit of contact, a little bit of contact. Doesn't seem that I got damage from uh, just rubbing against the Aston Martin before. Lucky it wasn't too hard. I just, I think I just went into that corner a little bit hot. I couldn't quite see the braking board because the Aston Martin was on the racing line. Oh, I've overshot it. That's got to cost me time and it has. Oh, I've done it again. I've overshot it again. What am I doing? No, 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 no. I've crashed it, I've crashed it, I've crashed it. What am I doing? Why did I do that for? I should have just let the accelerator come off. That's what I should have done. I shouldn't have just kept the accelerator flat. That just cost me. I did 20 minutes of racing there for pretty much nothing. That is piss poor. I'm not going to do another race. I'm just going to leave it there. So there we have it, I've crashed out of the uh, race, of course I did, we attempted the race twice, of course I crashed twice, I was leading the race comfortably, having a ball as well, was really having fun with it, but due to my lack of concentration probably, I just cost myself the race there, we had did have 10 minutes left, but that happens sometimes, if you did like the race or did like the video, please give it a like and subscribe, but other than that, I'll catch you in another video very, very shortly.